Tim. It's the morning star drive on 17.8. You saw up with sky, now's the time, don't delay. I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly. So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind. I'm burning with desire and the passion. Nobody can stop me when I'm like this. I got my head in the zone, you know. I'm on the morning star drive, you know. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Friday, April 22nd, and this is the Morning Star Drive on 117.8. We're on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe, follow us on SoundCloud, and make sure to support us on Patreon. So what is happening on this wonderful, fabulous Friday? We've got current news from around the world, the word study about the Wednesday message, and let's testify with Thule from Australia. All right, everyone, how are you doing? Yes, it's the end of the week, the very end. It's the last day of the work week. I hope a lot of you guys are just ready for the weekend. But I'm super grateful. Thank you guys for starting this day out together here on the Morning Star Drive. We've got uh, the wonderful weekend. I'm not sure what you guys are going to do. Just, you know, put in the comments. What you have any special, anything special coming on? Right? What, what are you guys going to do for this weekend? Uh, for myself, of course, I am going to be in Houston, Texas, so I'm super stoked about going. Uh, I still need to take my test uh, before going. And, you know, it's a test that you get a result within like an hour or so, right? But super thankful and grateful about that one too. So uh, I hope that you guys are going to have an amazing weekend and, of course, amazing Sunday service. And one big thing, especially over here on the Morning Star Drive, we really want everyone to just keep liking and commenting not to build the channel mainly because it's only for members so i wouldn't even care if we well i don't care about being in the millions or anything like that mainly because we don't have that many people in providence this is like a providence podcast so for anything else this liking and commenting is just to communicate and just to kind of interact here on this platform. Let's build the community. I want to hear from you guys and see how you're doing. Kind of answer the the questions on the comments and stuff like that too. You know, song requests, questions, you know, for Q&A or any stories or testimonies that you had. Would love to hear it more than anything else. So uh, I am very, very open to this and I'm going to, I'm still going to be doing this next week in, um, in Houston. So, you know, uh, it's just going to be a different environment, but uh, it's going to be really, really cool. All right. So, uh, oh man, this morning, gosh, I was tired. I'm not sure why I was so tired, but um, I woke up for pre-dawn and um, have you, have you ever, re- oh man, it, it's, I'm sure guys, you can comment about this too. Have you guys ever like started praying and then like you realize while you're speaking that you're rambling? Like, it's not even, like, it's coherent. Like, I'm still saying things, but it's not like I really mean it. I'm just kind of rambling off things like, God, help me to be this person. This is this and this, right? Give me the wisdom. And at a certain moment, it's so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm sure everyone, I'm not sure. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure everyone's gone through this. Please put in the comments if you if you had anything like this. But, at the, like, you know, during in, in mid-prayer, I'm like, I'm just rambling. I don't even mean what I'm saying. I'm just kind of like giving lip service. And I stopped in my prayer and I was like, God, you know what? Honestly, I don't really care about those things. I just want to like get closer to you. And it was interesting because I was rambling for a while. And then all of a sudden I stopped like, what am I doing? And I just sat there and I said this one sentence, God, I just want to know you and the Holy Spirit. And at that moment, like I felt God coming, like you could feel it in your heart, like, wow, you know, this is, this is how much God wants to hear a a sincere and honest prayer. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have gone through that, but uh, yeah, I've gone through this a couple of times, but it was just me this morning catching myself in this rambling lip service. And I was just like, wow, I felt so bad. And I just had to stop. And I had to stop everything I said because I knew what I was saying, but I still wasn't like, it wasn't sincere and honest, right? Oh, no, it was honest because I want to be a better person, but it wasn't sincere enough. Like, it wasn't like I was really talking to God. It was just like talking to air. So, yeah, I I had that experience this morning, but it was really good to uh, be able to just go into God's presence and God's presence coming upon me where I was like, wow, you know, this is God. Like, God is here. And, um... Uh, then I was able, you know, it, it felt like the prayer was worth it from that point on. So, um, you know, tell me, guys, if you guys have had anything or any type of experience like that, too, because I'm sure this is pretty calm. I, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of common sometimes, too, when you're tired, you begin to ramble and stuff like that. All right. Uh, last night, did you guys check out the the video on Espresso with Sky? 
Yeah, a special with Scott, we put out a new video yesterday. It's uh, uh, the biggest reason why we struggle with prayer. Like, why is our prayer life so weak kind of thing, right? And uh, I hope you guys can really benefit, especially now at this time where prayer is such an important thing. I hope that we can just kind of listen to it and really, you know, gain a lot from it, not only just for yourself, but also for your newcomers and stuff like that too. All right, and make sure, um, just to make sure that this video just goes out more and more with Sunseam's word, just keep liking and commenting. Even if you just say thanks or whatever it is on the comments, uh, that helps a lot with the algorithm more than anything else. So go ahead and help out with that too. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. One second, let me get a sip of my coffee. Ooh, that's good. All right, so um, this Sunday's edition, uh, remember we met Lena Choi from Australia. So go ahead, check that out. She is like one of the voices of the, the translator. So I uh, hope you guys really, really enjoy that one. And remember, um, the video and who Lena is, you'll only see it on... Uh, on YouTube. You can only hear the audio on SoundCloud, obviously, but if you want to see the video, like the interaction, how we talk, our facial expressions, go ahead and check that one out on YouTube. Next week, Sunday edition, uh, you'll find out to be uh, someone new or someone old or someone new. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's gonna. It's uh, look forward to it for uh, Sunday, Sunday at 2 p.m. in Asia time. I, I believe it'll be in Korea time or Asia time, right? I, I believe so. Uh, but over here, it should be on Saturday night, which means most people will be able to see it by Sunday. Okay. All right. So uh, let's let's get into today's artist, uh, member artists from around the world. Really, really grateful and thankful for all these artists just putting up new and new stuff. Um, today, uh, because we just had that release of the Sunny Boy song, Rise Up, I'm going to play that for you today. And uh, they have graciously sent me an audio of why they came up with this song. So we're going to hear that first before we get into the song, Rise Up. Then after that, we have AG from Japan, a new song. It's A Life of Thanksgiving and Grace, and that's the EDM version. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Jay Root from the Paint Music Associates in Korea with World of Us featuring Sung Young. All right. So first off, let's start off. Some new boys from America, they're going to give an intro of their new song, Rise Up. Everyone, enjoy. Hey, MSD. This is Summy Boys. We want to let you guys know that our new song, Rise Up, is out. The song is pretty much just like the original Providence song, Rise Up. Uh, we want to let everyone know that no matter how, whatever you're going through, how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is, keep going. Keep, keep at it because we have to go into the end. And unfortunately, you know, we do have to take damage and we have to we have to fight. But that's what it, that's what it's about. Right. Like if you want to get better, you know, and you want to grow, you know, you got to take the licks. You got to you got to you got to go through hardships. But that's how you're going to be better. That's how you're going to grow. So we want to encourage every single one of you guys, you know, to never give up and just keep at it. All right. Let's get it. Rise up to the challenge, armed with the word and action. Done to the truth, fasten. Shield of faith in one hand, sword and spirit, I'm slain. No mercy, I'm praying. Everyone thinks I lost, but now I'm turning super saiyan. I gotta be new, gotta be great. I only gotta win this thing. Fix the mistakes, fix who I am. All I wanna do is change. Gotta be brave, gotta be tough. No more time for delaying. It's just training, training. All those times of pain, off. Oh, pushing my limits. Only God, I'm trying to be better, I'm trying to feel God Enemies watching, they want you to fall But you have to be better, you have to give it your all Every day I make myself, but I know it's not easy This is the life I chose and I know my spirit's breathing The battle has only begun and I may take damage But if I fall, I only know how to do one thing, one thing Rise up to the challenge, armed with the word and action Bell to the truth, fasten Shield of faith in one hand, sword of spirit I'm slaying No mercy, I'm praying Everyone thinks I lost, but now I'm turning super saiyan I'm Goku turning super saiyan I'm charged up, now I'm playing On the mount like Sinai, I can live with God like Wi-Fi You see the word always praying Spiritual path where I'm staying Everyone thinks I lost, but I'm always with him so you know I'm prevailing Protecting myself from Satan, armed with the truth, now my angels will shoot light I'm at my truest form I'm trying to really be the greatest The power level can't contain it My energy is never draining Look how far we have made it Unlocking levels never hesitated There's no trying You can just do it or don't So fix your thoughts instead Everybody makes mistakes Just gotta take notes Can't afford to do it again Life is so easy If you just do what is right And just follow what's real Victory becomes too skill Gotta stay on course Time to kill Two 
your rise and shine Think of the past and then forget Ground and Lord, by your side Hold your hand, dry your eyes Trust in Lord, every night and day Hold never let you go, don't fall away Be bold, be brave, and with all your heart Love the Lord to the end of time Rise up to the challenge Armed with the word and action Held to the truth, passing Shield of faith in one hand Sword and spirit, I'm slaying No mercy, I'm praying Everyone thinks I lost But I'm turning super saiyan
And there you go. That is J Root from PMA in Korea. And that song is World of Us. And that's featuring Sung Young. Uh, before that, a brand new song from AG from Japan. That song is A Life of Thanksgiving and Grace. That's the EDM version. And of course, we had a featured artist of the day. That is the Somni Boys brand new song. Just came out this week, Rise Up. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful that they put in that intro so we know uh, exactly what that song is like, or like why they made that song. All right. So let's get into the news going on around the world. And of course, what are the three reasons why you listen to the world news? You know, I'll, you know, uh, some people have actually um, like commented and said, yeah, you know, most of the times we don't really know about what's going on in the world because we're only looking at well, like what, what kind of news are we really looking at in the world? We're really looking at things only in our region. And sometimes not even our whole country. It's just like our region inside of our country. But uh, through the world news, the current news from around the world, we're able to see what is happening and... Um, as Sunseem said, uh, one of the biggest reasons why we need to look at the news, the world news, number one, is to see what God is doing in the world. And of course, number two is uh, we need to figure out the things we need to pray for and in detail. And last but not least, uh, we need to think about those things that uh, we can comfort God's heart in. All right. So let's start off with the Russia-Ukraine news. All right. So uh, U.S. Here's these are like. Uh, some of the things we've missed over the last 24 hours, what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden announces an additional $800 million security assistance package for Ukraine. And he says the aid, including heavy artillery weapons, ammunition, and tactical drones, will be sent directly to the front lines of freedom. Uh, Vladimir Putin orders his troops not to storm the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol, uh, where the last group of Ukrainian fighters are holding out. Instead, the president just tells them to seal it up so even a fly cannot escape and says Russia has control of the strategic port city and some civilians trapped for weeks in the wider southeastern city had been able to leave, but far fewer than hoped. And uh, in the east of Ukraine, where fighting continues along a, um, like a 480-kilometer front, Russia has not made any major breakthroughs, a think tank says. Uh, also, uh, Russia now is imposing travel bans on U.S. citizens. So the Russian foreign ministry has added 29 new U.S. citizens to its stop list, including uh, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and or Kamala Harris and Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. And a statement published on the ministry website on Thursday said those added to the list were top leaders, representatives, and of the business community, academics, and journalists who shaped the Russia the Russia phobic agenda, as well as the spouses of a number of high ranking officials. Uh, all individuals have been indefinitely banned from entering the Russian Federation in response to the ever-expanding anti-Russian sanctions. And this came shortly after U.S. President Joe Biden announced new sanctions on Russian citizens and an $800 million military support in Ukraine. Uh, also, Ukraine uh, has offered all options for a Mariupol swap. Um, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky says Ukraine has offered all options to Russia to swap Mariupol citizens for Russian soldiers and is awaiting Moscow's response, Reuters news agency is reporting. Uh, he had previously suggested captured Russian soldiers could be exchanged for trapped civilians. Responding to the Kremlin's claim, its forces have liberated the port city, and he said Russia controls most of Mariupol, but Ukrainian forces remain in part of it. Uh, according to Reuters, uh, as we've been reporting, Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his troops to seal off Mariupol's uh, Azovstal steel plant, where a last group of Ukrainian fighters is holding out, rather than to storm it. So Zelensky was also quoted as saying that 120,000 civilians were being blocked from leaving Mariupol. So that is the latest news uh, in the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Let's move over to France, where they're having their runoff election right now. And uh, just yesterday, uh, Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen clash in a TV presidential debate. So the two candidates for the French presidency have gone head-to-head -head in their only televised debate ahead of second, uh, Sunday's second round runoff vote. Far off, uh, far right leader Marine Le Pen uh, has fallen behind centrist Emmanuel Macron in the opinion polls, but millions of voters are still undecided. And it didn't take long for the two hour and 45 minute clash to burst into life. Candidates confronted each other on the cost of living, Russia, climate change, immigration. Uh, around 15.6 million viewers watched the debate in which Macron accused his rival of being dependent on Russian power, while Marine Le Pen called him a hypocrite on climate change. So spiraling prices have dominated the campaign and immediately took center stage in the debate. Uh, Emmanuel Macron was widely seen as the winner of the pair's 2017 encounter when his rival appeared flustered and underprepared. 
But this time, uh, Le Pen was ready from the start and far more composed. And throughout the debate, it was Macron who went on the offensive, appearing more like a challenger than an incumbent, repeatedly interrupting his rival. So Le Pen said 70% of the French people believed their standard of living had fallen over the past five years, and she would be the president of civil peace and national brotherhood. And uh, she said, we need to give priority to the French in their own country. And then Macron said France had known, unpre uh, known unprecedented, uh, had unknown unprecedented crisis with COVID followed by war in Europe. And uh, he steered France through those challenges and aimed to make France a stronger country. The vote was a referendum on Europe, on secularism and a moment of clear choice, he said. So despite a strong performance from Le Pen, a snap uh, poll of voters suggested 59% of viewers thought Macron had come out as the winner. The sitting president was seen as most presidential by 53% to 29%, although half of viewers also said he had come across as arrogant. Uh, Le Pen was narrowly deemed to be more in tune with normal people, although 50% found her a bit worrying. All right, so that is what's happening over there in... Um, uh, in France, and then we're going to move over to New Zealand. This is uh, quite interesting because yesterday we talked about the Solomon Islands uh, making a, a deal with uh, China, right? So uh, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern uh, says working with assertive China is a must, right? So New, New Zealand has been aware for some time now of a growing assertiveness and a growing interest in its region, explicitly from China, according to Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. But uh, Ms. Arden also spoke of the need to work together with China on areas of natural mutual interest. So speaking to the BBC in an exclusive broadcast interview, she stood by what she called her country's mature relationship with Beijing, but still expressed her disappointment that the Solomon Islands had cemented a security deal with China, fueling fears Beijing could set up a military base on the island. Now, there's already an agreement signed by Pacific Island Forum members called the, the Bikitawa Declaration, she said, which sets an expectation these countries uh, provide for their own security needs together as a region. But despite her reservations, uh, Ms. Arden rejected the idea that it was time for New Zealand to join the US, UK, and Australia in the AUKUS Security Alliance to help ward off China's influence in the region. New Zealand has been criticized for not taking a harder line on China, and Ms. Arden's uh, administration's position has been that New Zealand will form its own bilateral relationship with China, which critics say is because of economic dependence. All right, so that is quite interesting to see what is happening over there in... Um, uh, I'm not going to say it's right or wrong. It's just a matter of it's kind of... Uh, it, it's like everyone around them is going away from China, but they're going towards China. So we'll see what actually happens there. Okay, so let's move on to some sporting news. Let's go to the NHL. So first news, which is great news, Dallas Stars lose again. So we beat them, and then they lost a second game. So they lost to Edmonton. Thank you, Edmonton. 5-2, to two, so this is great news for Vancouver. And then Vegas, ugh, they won in overtime uh, over Washington 4-3. to three. So the standings right now is the LA Kings with 92 points, and they've played 78 games. Right, so they play one more game than us. Dallas has, uh, is at 91 points, and they are at 77 games. So they have one game in hand. Vegas is at 89 points with 78 games. And then us, Vancouver, 87, which means we have another. We have a big road trip, two games coming up, and we're at 70, uh, 87 points. So if we win those two, it'll bring us up to 91, tying with Dallas. But that is assuming, that is assuming that Dallas... Uh, will end up losing the next three games, which uh, is probably going to be highly doubtful. But, you know, there's always hope. There's always hope, right? There's only I think it's an 82-game season, so I think there's only four. Uh, there's five games left for Vancouver. Five games times two is 10 points. It would bring us to 97 points. Oh, but that's uh, it's a tough one. To, to, to just run the table in these last five games is not easy. Uh, let's go over to NBA playoffs. Great game. It was Boston versus Brooklyn. Brooklyn had like a 17-point lead by halftime, but Boston clawed back and defeated them 114-107. to 107. Uh, Boston's now up 2-0. to zero. Kevin Durant shot 0 for 10 in the second half, and I believe uh, Kyrie Irving was like uh, 2. He only hit like 2 shots in the second half too, so their superstars weren't doing very well, and that's why they lost. Uh, Philadelphia goes to overtime with Toronto in Toronto, and uh, guess who? Joel Embiid scores the game winner. Last second shot, three-pointer. And now Philadelphia is up 3-0. So only one game from elimination. Uh, Joel Embiid, 33 points, 13 rebounds. Chicago 
defeats Milwaukee in the surprising one, 114 to 110. They're now tied at 1 1. DeMar DeRozan, 41.7 rebounds. Giannis had 33 points, 18 rebounds, 9 assists in a losing effort. But by the end of it, uh, Milwaukee lost Chris Middleton, injured his MCL in this game to loss. So if, he, if they lose Middleton, uh, this could be tilting towards Chicago. Um, let's move on to soccer. In soccer news, uh, let's go to the EPL. Uh, Arsenal upsets Chelsea 4-2. Man City defeats Brighton uh, 3-0. And Manchester United, news comes out, they officially signed Eric Ten Hag as their new manager. He was uh, the former boss of Ajax, um, the Dutch team Ajax, and they have agreed to a three-year contract. And, you know, uh, Ten Hag will be finishing out his uh, year with uh, Ajax first and then move along. In Spain, uh, Atletico Madrid defeats, uh, not defeats, they tie with Granada 0-0. And Real Madrid defeats Osasuna 3-1. In Italy, Juventus defeats Fiorentina uh, 2-0. And in France, PSG uh, just crushes Angers uh, 3-0 at Mbappe with the game winner. So that is your top three news in sports, uh, world news. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, you guys got and gained a little bit more from this. Okay, so what does that mean? Guys, that means it's time for... Or the golden time. Yes, it is a time of praise and worship to the Holy Trinity. Hope you guys really enjoy this more than anything else. We're going to start off with something old and uh, old and amazing. It is Ideal World 2. And then we'll get into Blind Love. And that's uh, one of the newer songs that just uh, came out recently. I guess redone. And then uh, we'll, fit, we'll end things off with an oldie but a goodie. That is Only This Remains. All right. So as one body of this morning star drive, they spend this time giving praise, honor, and glory to the Holy Trinity. Trinity.
remains uh before that blind love and of course ideal world too i hope you guys really enjoyed that time of praise and worship to the holy trinity and uh, i hope it really just kind of like 
you know, especially because the second half is more of a spiritual part of the program, uh, that it, um, what's the right word? That it prepares you uh, to get into more of the spiritual things, especially as we have our word study always after the praise and worship. Okay, so let's get into today's word study. And of course, every single Friday we go over the Wednesday message. And man, Wednesday message, like I can say this every single time and I would be right every time. But uh, it was really, really short. <laughs> Tell me, guys, like this one was, it wasn't just short. It was extra short, wasn't it? I, I felt I was like, it was like done before it started. And I was kind of shocked when he was like, okay, so we get this last video before we start, you know, like um, we start ending the message. I was like, wow, that was really fast. But uh I really felt that this Wednesday message summed up everything so well, like the reason, the real reason, like the deeper reason why God really wanted to give us this message. And uh, for me, I was just like, wow, it's so true. And I can look at my life also, but you know, God was straight, like, we'll, we'll get into it, but there's like the reason in there, I was like, yeah, that's probably the biggest reason, you know, beyond anything else. So I liked how it uh, prefaced everything like, Daily life of faith is not easy, right? It's not an easy thing to constantly be trying to hold yourself back, constantly trying to make yourself better, right? It is, a, it, it's difficult. And sometimes because it's so hard, you just want to take a break, you become idle. And then oh, the two questions, like the, the thoughts that we have is, how long do we have to go through this difficulty, right? Like we, we have like this slander again and people doing this and like, oh, like how long? And then the second question uh, was something I think a lot of people ask even when there's not slander. It's, for how long do I have to work this hard? And when those two questions came out, I was just like, that's me. That is straight up me. I'm just like, wow. And you, you think these thoughts and then you start to become a little bit more idle. And it was like God is seeing all, these, all this happening right now. And while watching everyone think these thoughts and become idle and, and go through these difficulties, God is saying, believe in me and know why you believe in me, right? So we kind of get a hint of, yeah, God is acknowledging the difficulties. God is acknowledging it's not easy, but he's saying, believe. And you got to know clearly the fundamental answer of why you need to believe in him. Because when we do, when we know why, when we're very clear and we realize, then we know deep in our hearts we are absolutely going to this golden heaven, right? And when we have this absolute like conviction and faith in our hearts, we will be able to overcome every difficulty that comes in our life, right? Every day, right? Like, you know, just everything that Sassi was saying, it was like, I understand your heart. Like God was basically saying to us, I know everything you're going through. Every day, we try to cut off things of the world. Every day, we try to make ourselves. Every day, we try to raise our level, right? And going through this constant barrage of difficulties, sometimes we get to the point we lose the joy, right? We lose that joy of living this life of love where the life of love becomes like painful, like, like you suffer instead. But God is telling all of us that, hey, believe in me, know me. Right, And if you do, if you believe and know me, then you won't have a hard time in faith. And I, I do think that's kind of the key that we're looking for. It's not so much as, you know, of course in our heads when we, we don't have the answer, we think to ourselves, we, I just want to stop. I just want to stop. But what God is saying is, hey, you're not going to have a hard time in faith if you just know me and if you believe in me. Right? Though that's it. If you just believe. Know why. And you're not going to have a hard time in faith. And that's kind of the answer we need to look for. Where instead, you know, where a lot of us, where we feel like, oh, it's just too much. We want to stop and be idle and stop doing things, right? He's like, no, no, no. That's not the right way to do it, right? In order for you to get more, uh, you need to put in more, right? If you want to reach, if, if you want to get that peace and that comfort, you have to do it even, like you have to do things even more. And I kind of brought up yesterday is like, when even when we talk about, uh, what's what are we talking about? When we're talking about, like investments, it's the same thing. When you invest in something, you have to put money in. Like when I, I, I talk to these people uh, on on uh, like these Discord channels for investments and stuff, and I look at these guys and they're making like ten thousand US dollars per day per day. I'm like, what? 
right? I'm like, how do you do it? But then I look at how much they invest. They take the risk and they're like, yeah, yeah, I put 10K in here. I put, you know, like 20K. I'm like, whoa, these people are just putting in tons of money, putting in tons of risk, but that's why they're getting so much back. And that's that's kind of what made me feel like, ah, that makes, that makes more sense now, right? You got to put in to get more, right? It's like uh, when you learn in business too, like for instance, um, uh, let's say that uh, I know that a lot of p uh, churches are going to be building, you know, there's more churches that are going to be built. Uh, but one thing that I care about is like, say, a gymnasium to play basketball, volleyball, whatever it is, right? But the interesting thing is um, people will like say, oh, we, we can't spend that much money. And then they start like cheaping out on stuff, like making buying cheaper stuff. But the rule of thumb is the cheaper the material you buy, the more maintenance it costs in the long run. So it's better to put more money up front so it lasts longer, it's more high quality, right? And that's the difference between like a high business person, right? Imagine you have a gym and you want to rent it out, but if it's like all low quality, no one's going to come. No one's going to want to be there. However, if you get the highest quality, it's a nice gym, then tons of people are going to line up for it and you're going to end up making more money in the future, right? So in the same way too, when it comes to us, when God is like, you're going through difficulty right now, I understand, but you need to believe in me and know me. And this is when you get over the hard time of faith. If you just stop and become idle, you stay inside that mud. You stay inside the difficulties and you don't get out of it, right? So we have to understand when we begin to realize who God is, like Romans 8.18, it says, present sufferings are nothing compared to the future glory. Right, The struggles we have in our life of faith, the difficulties, the hardships, right? Just trying to keep God's word. All of it cannot be compared to the glory we receive in the future. And a lot of us, because we don't see that glory and we don't think like it's not real to us. And this is why we are stuck like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore because you can't see the future glory. Paul had it right. He says this present suffering is nothing. He saw the future glory. But when we don't see it, we don't understand it, we don't know it, we don't know God, believe in Him, then there is no future. The less we believe, the less faith we have, the less we're convicted that this great future is coming to us. And that's when we kind of start to leave God more and more, right? God is letting us know right now clearly, do not forget why we are in this history. Don't forget why we're running, right? Why are you believing in God? Because if you knew that, then you wouldn't have a hard time. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean you're not going to go through difficulties? No, it means you're not going to have a hard time, right? That's different. Going through difficulties in life is normal. But having a hard time and falling over, that is not normal. And that's the part we need to get over, right? So we have to be those. You know, hold on to God tightly. Just do, you know, be diligent. Running towards heaven. And we need to like God and the Holy Spirit. We need to love them as we live our life. And as we do this, life becomes easier. Right? Like, I don't even like, for me, in my head, I'm like, oh, do I really have to think about hell? And the answer is no. Avoiding the eternal suffering for me is just like, it's hard for me to, to really fathom how much suffering that is, even though like I can hear it. But when it comes to us believing in God, you know, this is something that we've given our life to, the Almighty God. There's no one greater than this person. So when you're meeting this person, how should you believe, right? We shouldn't be idle. We should be people who are constantly doing things. But it doesn't mean don't take a break, right? And this is why we have to pray. We need to put our our work, our work put our missions into action, right? Live joyfully with hope, knowing, you know, part of our life is going to be dependent upon our attitudes of whether you're positive or negative, right? You got to be positive. God gave us this message, right? We have to have these things in mind, right? God gave us this message because he knows how difficult it is, but he's giving us the answer is we can get through it. You just got to believe. You got to believe in God and you have to know why we believe in God, right? The reason why we struggle through difficulties, the reason why we struggle through our hardships in life, right? Why do we do that? Like, we're not just talking about faith. We're just talking about anything in general, right? Everything in life, you're going to struggle to get it better, Everything, right? It's not to give examples of university and work to get to the next promotion. You got to struggle to get to the next uh, year in university. You got to pass. You got to struggle. You got to study. You got to do all those things, whether it's working out, exercising, doing this or that, um, like making relationships better. You've got to get it better more than anything else. But that's what life is. Life is to struggle to make it more ideal. That's why we do it. 
No one, no one, no one, like Sunsip said, he said, like, no one wakes up and says, oh, I'm going to struggle to make things worse. No, we struggle to make things more ideal. That's what life is, right? We don't wake up every day excited to struggle more. We wake up to do what? We wake up so that we can struggle to do better things, to be more comfortable. You know, just because it's hard, right? You know, it's hard, but, you know, if you just complain about it, it's just going to get harder and harder. We have to change the mentality and attitude. And it's this hope that comes from believing in God, knowing that there's someone on your side, someone you can talk to about this. Go through difficulties now. Oh, what was that word again that people were telling me? I I forgot it for a second time. Something um, delayed gratification. That's it. I forgot that last time, but I know people in Europe were saying, no, it's delayed gratification. I was like, ah, that's right, delayed gratification. We have to learn this really well. It's better to delay it now and do better, way better in the future, right? And uh, of course, that, that video was awesome too, showing Wormen Dong. Like that's the ultimate example. We've heard it like, uh, for me in about 23 years, I hear it probably about 100 times per year about Wormen Dong, Wormen Dong. No, probably even more, like 200 times a year. But, because it's the ultimate example. Difficulties, suffering, going through all these things. But in the end, look at it now. It was unimaginable. Sun was even saying with his own lips, unimaginably difficult. And if it wasn't for God, who said he'd watch over the lives and help me, there's no way I would have even done it. But look at it now. It becomes God's house. It's something that everyone can use. Remember when Sun used to talk about why he wanted Wormidong so bad, he wanted his own place? Because so many times they have these events, renting places out, and they were always kicked out, and they couldn't give glory to the, to the fullest, Right? Now it's used like a, like a heaven. So this is why we really have to understand how much we just got to believe. We got to believe and know why we believe more than anything else. So, you know, like the suffering of hell, I understand that point. But for me, it's just like, wow, you know, we really need to change our minds the way we see things. Like it's, it's diff- I think one of the reasons why it's difficult, when, especially when it comes to spiritual things, is because we don't see the results that often, right? We don't really see it. But when it comes to uh, like physical things, people will have an easier time waking up at 4 a.m. for work than they do for pre-dawn because there's an instant result of you get to work, you get paid, whatever it is, right? Where in spiritual things, it's, it's, not, it's not that easy. You don't get paid right away and stuff like that also, right? But we have to realize like our, if we stop praying, if we stop doing spiritual things, we don't feel it anymore. We don't get that connection with understanding the reality of the spiritual the spiritual world and our faith doesn't become solid we lose that conviction we have to be those that that gain conviction through believing more through knowing why we need to believe like there's so many reasons why should we have conviction we have fulfilled the purpose of creation Right? Isn't that crazy? That is one of the craziest things. It's the original purpose why God doesn't. And sometimes we may not feel it, but we've done it. Why should I have conviction? Sometimes says, think about this. The Holy Trinity always got your back. They're always on your side. I'm like, wow, always on my side. Even when I do bad things, even when I sin, they're like, they've always got your side. They'll always be by your side and they'll always got your back. That's why we need conviction. None of the things that we go through in this world is comparable to the eternal suffering. Because just that, just in itself, even if the suffering was lighter, but imagine it's eternal. At least here on this earth, suffering comes and goes. You go through bad times and you go to good times and then bad times and then good times. So we have to be those. Understand, don't forsake this path this eternal path of joy because of some temporary suffering but we need to take on the mentality of the lord can you imagine what he's going through right now like he's like more slant like serious more slandering like come on so we need to live life as a true counterparts of love and when it gets difficult we need to support even more so we have to be those who absolutely realize the essence of this week's word, why he's saying it. He says, I know what you're going through. And he acknowledges the difficulties we go through. But he says, life in me is victorious and full of hope and full of joy. So believe and know why you believe. And then what's going to happen? Gosh, we're going to realize, we're going to be so thankful. This is why it's so great to believe in God. That's why it's so great. 
right? So when I when I heard this message on Wednesday, I was just like, yeah, that's so perfect. Are we struggling? Absolutely. We're struggling. I'm struggling. Like a lot of different things. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is difficult. But then God is like, yeah, you know what? Let's get over it. Let's, let's get over it together, right? And I, I hope it's something, uh, you know, I just really, really hope that we can learn how much God is really loving us and seeing all of our problems and all of our things. And he's saying, ah, I know what you're going through. So let's, um, you know, let's, let's overcome together. I'll always be by your side. And when, you know, when you hear that, it's just one of the most amazing things. It really is like that God is on your side. Okay. So that is um, the word study for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed this last word study for uh, this week. It is Friday. Hope you guys are really enjoying it more than anything else. Uh, but, um, yeah, great message. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. So uh, let's move on to the song of choice for today. And of course, every Friday is Musical Friday. And I was thinking about to myself, like, oh, on this Musical Friday, we got to go into like old, old school, like, you know, the Phantom of the Opera, uh, Les Mis, like all the old school ones. But the one that I've never seen that I really, really want to see, I will not watch the the music, the 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 live action they did a movie for it. there's no way I'm watching that one but uh, this one is uh, it's from the the musical Cats and this is like one of the longest running musicals ever but in this one here uh, this is one of the most famous songs from it. it's called Memories and this is going to be a cover done by Lucy Thomas and she does a great job so this is uh, on this musical Friday from the musical Cats we're gonna hear the song Memories from Lucy Thomas. Sound from the pavement has the moon lost memory. She is smiling alone in the lamplight. The withered leaves collect at my feet, and the wind.
And there it is. That is uh, the song for this musical Friday. That is from the musical Cats with the song Memories. And that is Lucy Thomas. I will leave the link in the description below. All right. So this is, uh, we're going to get into the last segment for uh, today's Friday podcast. But it's also the last segment for the entire week. I hope you guys are really enjoying this. Uh, We're going to get into Let's Testify with Thule over there in Australia. And she's doing just an amazing job. She did her last two testimonies, the last two segments. And we're also going to meet someone else in another interview hope you guys really enjoy it everyone please welcome Tuli with let's testify hi everyone this is let's testify with Tuli I hope you are having a wonderful day with the Lord and with the Holy Spirit Let's Testify is a platform for Providence members, you and me, to testify about our daily lives of faith. This could include how you came to Providence or some ways that you've changed through the word and through prayer or some answer that you've had through prayer, that kind of thing. So it can be three minutes or five minutes, 20 minutes, it's all up to you. So today, Bridget from Sydney Church was inspired to testify. And I first met Bridget when she was a brand new member, probably in year 10 or year 11 at school. I'm really excited to listen to her testimony today. Welcome, Bridget. Hi everyone, this is Bridget. I'm from China. I'm in my third year of uni and currently studying Bachelor of Arts with Bachelor of Education in Sydney. I like dancing and singing. And today I would like to testify about how God and the Holy Spirit have worked in my life powerfully to bring me to Providence and how they have guided me to believe in God. Yeah, so I was evangelized by my older sister, Joy. She came to Providence in 2014. And after she has listened to to the Bible studies and not even all of them, she was on fire pretty much. I remember that she sent me a really, really long email telling telling me about um, the Bible studies she's having. So basically, she gave me a brief introduction version of Bible study uh, in the email. She mentioned about God, heaven, hell, Satan's, uh, who are they, and angels, and even some testimonies about uh, how church members have seen angels. So can you imagine just how long that email is to include all of this information? And that even the title um, of the email, I remember she named it as yeah, a secret. And you know with your sister, you always have some shared secrets with each other so i was actually pretty excited but when i opened the email uh the beginning the the beginning part she wrote uh you know i was i'm currently yeah having some bible studies and when i saw that i got really disappointed (laughs) and oh that's really boring and it's also really long emails i also hate reading long messages but still, since I need to reply to her, I really tried hard to finish reading it. But I think what really caught me at that time, uh, caught my attention at that time, is she mentioned about angels and how people have seen angels. I like this kind of idea, like having angels. I think it was really fun and like to have them by your side and talk with them. So yeah, and a few days later, she sent me another email about how to pray. And I think it was really the Holy Spirit's power. And I was just thinking, hmm, yeah, maybe I could try that. So I followed the steps she sent me about how to pray. And for around two years in China, I just prayed like that every night before I sleep and sometimes during the day. I tried to read some Bible and also read the messages she sent me. Uh, I did not listen to any Bible studies, but really just through the word she sent me, I can be able to yeah, keep my um keep my faith in that two years. I did not question about anything and I just followed thinking that uh it is nice and fun. Uh and fun. Yeah. So after that I came to Sydney. I listened to all the Bible studies and I passed in 2017. So this is how I came to Providence and passed. Uh I think it is really different from others because I don't even know from which point I begin to accept God in my life and from which point I accept the Lord. I think back at that time, I was just purely accept but did not really think deeply about that. And I just followed other people 
I go to church, pray, do various、um, activities.、Um, however, a problem came afterwards. You know, when you hear others tes- testimonies, it's so amazing, and they feel empty, and the words answered all of their life questions like that. But for me, I felt nothing actually, and I always have a question like, why do people always say they feel empty? And I just couldn't understand. And there was one time I asked Joy,、um, "Why do you feel empty before?" And Joy said, "Okay, let's imagine you are building a house, and however, if you know eventually it will crumble, don't you feel it's so empty? Nothing remains. It just all crumbled." She was so passionate explaining. However, I felt,、mm, yeah, but you still enjoy the process of making it, like. You still gain something through that, yeah. Like I just couldn't understand her at all. And more and more as I live my life of faith, I realized that I do not actually fully accept God in my life. I do not believe in Him a hundred percent. I think He exists, but not fully. And there was one time I was talking to a leader in our church when she asked me,、um, "Could you one hundred percent believe in God?" And I did not know what to say exactly. I can't say no because I've seen how God is like see like I received so many nature revelations and I've seen how God working in my life, but at at the same time I can't say yes. So my heart was so troubled at that time and I cried, like I do not know like what happened to me. It's not because God hasn't shown me enough signs for me to believe, but I felt that this is like the thing is. Whether or not I really want to, really accept God in my life, so I prayed to the Holy Spirit that she could help me to resolve this issue, and I come to see that I have a king's character, which is do- having to- thoughtful thoughts. So I couldn't easily trust people. Um. So、uh, therefore, I pray to the Holy Spirit that she can really guide me and let me see how wrong it is to have such thoughts. I think through prayer, the Holy Spirit really、um, raised my level of love. I feel providence is really a place of love, and everything is solved and resolved through love. Because I couldn't easily fully trust people,、um, so it's same for God. I talk、uh, with God and I pray to God, but I couldn't sincerely open my heart fully to God. Before, I also thought、um, because. Um, things happened in the past, and I developed this character. And me myself need healing, need time, and I need more love. But even though actually God has shown me enough, and、um, in my heart I still do not accept. So I felt the problem is me.、Um, I shouldn't be so selfish towards God, even though、um, things happen in the past,、um, like. I developed that kind of character. I couldn't trust people easily. But if I treat people in that way, then it's really hurt the other person. And also in the word it says, love is based on trust. And if you do not trust, then how can you say that you love? And I remember this also another message telling about how the Lord give one person strength when he really trusts that person. Even though that person may have some contradictions, but because really、um, it is through trusting, love is showing through that, and that person can be able to receive strength. So when I yeah heard all of these messages talking talking about trust and love, so I pray to the Holy Spirit, and I think Holy Spirit really moved my heart, and I really determined myself saying to God that. Yes, I also really want to trust God, and I really want to give God strength through that.、Um, yeah, so I yeah through this, I really pray to the Holy Spirit and really wanting her to lead me in my prayer and really solve this problem with God. I think starting from that. Point because I really sincerely want to resolve this issue and sincerely wanted to know about God and this attitude really make everything get changed.
So that's the end of part one for Bridget and we'll listen to the remaining part of her story next week. Thank you so much, Bridget. If you'd like to testify as well, um, I've got my email address below in the description. So just send me an email and we can put your testimony up on Let's Testify. Thanks everyone and have a great weekend. Peace. And thank you so much, Tuli, for another awesome and wonderful episode. And Bridget over there in Sydney, thankful uh, for your testimony. We look forward to uh, segment two, the second part of your testimony next week. Uh, everyone, hope you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, Tuli's just doing an awesome job each and every week with these uh, with this Let's, tes Let's Testify segment. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Just leave a drop a comment below for Tuli and Bridget too. All right. So... Now we're here at the end of today's Friday podcast. Hope you guys really had an amazing time as I have had each and every week, um, every day, Monday to Friday. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. Amazing Sunday service. And we'll see you guys. We'll catch you in Houston next week on the Morning Star Drive on 117.8. It's the morning star drive 117.8 You soaring up with sky, now's the time, don't delay I'm sitting in my ride and it's time to fly So let's realign, just listen and fill your mind I'm burning with desire and the passion Nobody can stop me when I'm like this I got my head in the zone, you know I'm on the morning star drive, you know